being black is not a choice. You don't choose a black identity. When I was four years old and bullied in kindergarten by racist Swedish white people, uh, I didn't choose my identity. I didn't choose how I looked like. I didn't choose how society would view me. I was treated like black. And wherever I go in the Western world, I'm always treated. I'm always treated as a black man, as lesser. I have colleagues who talk very respectfully to white people who are more junior than me. But then when they talk to me, they always have that chip of, I am a little bit more stupid than them and so on. So I'm treated as black by people who have so many layers of racist indoctrination. And white people's racist indoctrination starts with a very early age. It starts at school, teaching that white people were the fathers of civilizations. They, they weren't. The Greeks didn't start anything. Uh, Socrates, Aristotle, they went and copied wisdom from the black Chemites. So they lie about African history. Oh, the white people came and civilized African people. Oh, Mansa Musa was the richest king in history. We had empires, we had sultanates, imamates, and oh no, Africa was not illiterate. We wrote in Arabic script thousands of years. So this white, better, black, worse, it, this indoctrination sits very deep in the subconscious minds of white people. And uh, therefore they treat black people as lesser in, in, automatically and immediately without even being aware of it. I can choose to ignore racism as much as I want. It does not matter. I can choose to ignore racism as much as I want, and I often choose to do so. I often choose to try to put them as ignorant and so on. But I will constantly be reminded of the reality that many people view me as black and want to treat me as lesser. So it becomes like a collective bullying. I, I can, as much as I want, I can choose to ignore it. A few days will go, then I will be in that kind of situation where like a Ukrainian co-worker sucks up to the white people and talks down to me even if I am in charge. So, you know, this is the reality of the world and uh, this is, so racism is a caste system, it's a forced caste system. There, there's no such thing as race and you cannot divide the human beings into races. Of course, you can find African tribes who are lower in intelligence because they have thousands of years of farming, but you can also find other African tribes who are scholarly, who memorize Quran at early age. So saying that all black people have low IQ, that's not true and that has been disproven and you have shown that when people get more educated over time, also the IQ increases. So just to debunk that thing, you cannot divide human beings into races uh, because human DNA is sort of on a continuous scale. And the genetic differences tend to be continentally related. So the biggest genetic difference is between black Africans and black Aboriginals because Australia and Africa are very far apart. So black people are more similar to Europeans than they are to Australians genetically and both of them are black. So racism is a forced caste system that people, that white people want to deny, like Jordan Peterson want to deny it, Peter Schiff want to deny it, Tucker Carlson want to deny it. Why? Because it benefits them. They are a higher cost in that system. So they don't mind if other people subconsciously treat you as lesser because that keeps them getting all the benefit and you being a lower class. So as a black person, racism feels like you're putting on a, a shirt that doesn't, that doesn't fit me. You're forcing clothes onto me that is not really my clothes. Now, it might very well be. There are black people who are lower intelligence and criminal, but if you treat everyone like that, I'm not that, and I don't want to do those kinds of jobs, and I'm not gonna serve you when you're more stupid than me. So don't force that nonsense ignorance upon me, right? Guys, this is the real, so old school left wing, like Lenin said, I have criticized the woke left, because the woke left has nothing to do with the real left. The woke left bullshit is white people who come from the bourgeoisie, the elite, who are frustrated and they are looking for an identity. Oh, I am LBTQ, I'm this. That, that's the stuff you choose. But I didn't choose to be black. Now, my mother is a communist. In the Soviet era, my father is a communist. Now I'm going to tell you what Lenin said. Vladimir Lenin. He said that anti-Semitism, racism against Jews, that is what the elite do to divide the working class, to have the working class attacking another group, the Jews. 
Mm -hmm. So that the working class don't attack the ones who are really in charge. And this was many years before Nazi Germany. But what Lenin said is so true today for the far right parties. Now they attack the Muslims. All of the, the uh, Trump blames the Muslims, uh, the uh, Viktor Orban, all of these people. You're always this other group of working class that they want to attack. Mm -hmm. So this dehumanization and putting down other people as lower intelligence and this shit. That is the racist system and white people want to gaslight it and deny it because it benefits them. They earn money from it and you don't. What you have to do as a black person, you just have to accept and truly understand from overstand. You have to overstand that you are not inferior to anybody. Black man, you are not inferior to anyone. Black man, my brother. Black sister, my sister, you are not inferior to anyone. It does not matter how much white people want to subconsciously bully you by talking down to you, talking to you like you are lesser than them. Don't, and, and, and then what's going to happen is that you are going to feel, feel lesser. You're going to be insecure and you're going to feel that it is hopeless. That's what they want. Break free from that. You are not inferior to anyone. You are not. When you break free from this, you are free. Your intelligence is broad. The smartest people I've ever seen in the planet are black people. Like Reverend Phil Valentine, uh, uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Setting Tuba. I, I never seen that kind of intelligence by anyone. These people predict events way before they happen. You are not inferior to anybody. Don't believe that you are inferior to anybody. It doesn't matter how much white people subconsciously want to bully you and talk down to you that you are inferior to them. It doesn't matter how much Hamza Yusuf converts to Islam like some kind of his, uh, his uh, ancestors were probably indirectly involved in colonization. He is not smarter than the, the black African imams or the black African Sufi Muslims or the black African Kemite. Chemites or Kemetic metaphysicians. Mm. It doesn't matter what the Arabs think or those people in the Middle East. Believe in yourself. Stand up for yourself. Black is nothing you choose. It's given to you. But you can transcend it. And then you will be the winner. Salaam alaikum.